out to sea are the result of many months' patient work by the famous scientist Baron Shiba, head of the Aeronautical Institute of Japan. They are actual photographs of air currents and their peculiarities of behavior. Air, of course, is invisible and colorless. How then were these currents to be photographed? Baron Sheba solved this problem by filling the chamber outside with a white smoke. Thus, when the powerful fan was turned on, this smoke was drawn through these holes and passed the glass window as indicated by the arrows. And now we will see the pictures as recorded by the camera. The lines you see here are air currents as they are sucked across in front of the camera by the fan. This is what happens when the fan is suddenly turned off. The streamlines are broken and the smoke fills the chamber. In this test, a rectangular obstacle was placed inside the chamber. Note how it affects the air currents as they strike it. Note also the vacuum which is created behind the rectangular object. The next test is with a triangular shape. Note how differently the air currents are split up as they strike this object. This obstacle causes quite a disturbance in the air lanes and incidentally creates some very fascinating designs. I don't imagine Baron Sheba realized that he was producing these artistic patterns as he conducted his tests. Just one more of these tests, this time with an oval object. It has much less air resistance. Notice how the lines flow around it, leaving less vacuum behind. What keeps an airplane up in the air? You have all asked this question at one time or another. It is all a matter of the action of the air currents. And now I will show you what I mean. The two objects inside the chamber are miniature airplane wings. They have been built exactly to the specifications of one type of wing used today. Note how the bottom side of the wing really rests on an air current and how the top side creates a vacuum. It is the pressure on the bottom side of the wing combined with the vacuum above the wing that keeps the plane up in the air. And here we see even more clearly why an airplane stays up. The current on which the wings rest and the vacuum created above can be seen very plainly. Now you see what happens when the wings of a plane are tilted one way or another. Note that if the wing is tilted too sharply, the vacuum area shifts from above to behind the wing, spoiling the lifting power of the air current. This may cause a tailspin and is the reason for the aviator's expression, 